Hey guys, welcome back to another empowering technology tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys a little secret of mine. I'm going to teach you how to build a fully functioning Joomla website using the Helix framework and the Helix 2 template completely for free without spending one dime for hosting, for the template, for nothing. This is going to cost you absolutely zero dollars. The only thing it's going to cost you is a little bit of your time and some hard work in putting the website together. But we're going to go through it together. I'm going to show you what I know and hopefully that will make it a little bit easier for you. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get an account with cloudaccess.net. Cloud Access actually allows us to develop a website on their website using their server and their Joomla software for free. This website will be fully functioning and you can work on it for 30 days. Once you have completely developed the website, you can easily download it to your um, either your desktop or your PC and then upload it to another server uh, whichever you should choose to host your website you can choose cloud access to host your website however they are not the cheapest in the industry they're actually rather expensive but they do have great customer um, support and they are the only, basically they are the number one uh, Joomla host. So they're good, you get what you pay for. Um, for me, I prefer to go with a cheaper host because I don't necessarily need all their support anyways. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna move through this rather quickly. This is a gonna be a series of tutorials on um, Joomla and the Helix template. It's a great template. It has a lot of features already in the template itself. A lot of short code. You don't have to uh, download as many modules. And you'll see what I'm saying as we uh, move further in the tutorial. So first things first, we're gonna get an account with Cloud Access. Then, we are going to download the Helix template and the framework. That also is free, costs you nothing. I'm gonna put a link up in the description to all the places that you're gonna to need to go. So you'll easily be able to find that. Just look in the description for the cloud access link and the link to download the template. The next thing that I suggest that you do, this is not a must, but it will help you out. Download the module map to the Helix template and I will put a link up to that as well. That's gonna show you where you can and can't put your uh, modules and again like I said you will see more of what I'm talking about as we move forward. These are three things that we are going to cover in this tutorial. Let's slide on over to cloudaccess.net and let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna register for an account. Go through, fill out the uh, excuse me the appropriate information. I'm actually going to pause this as I uh, fill out the information that I need to fill out and I will pick back up so just go through fill it out and then click on register and I will see you in just a second okay here we are you've registered now we're going to click on launch the free demo and you're gonna go ahead and choose your domain name um, with the cloudaccess.net um, subdirectory 
So whatever you want your website to be, you can put that in. I am just going to put, um, it's already highlighted, but just make sure that you are working with the Joomla 3.3 and create the demo. All right, that's done. We are up and running. They have put our website together for us, basically a, a very basic version of it. So click on application and log into Joomla. This is going to show you what your the back end of your site, your Joomla site looks like. And if you click on this right here, this will show you what the front end looks like. Right now, it's just a very basic website, uh, your Joomla site hosted with cloudaccess.net, and some basic content. Um, but we are going to change this tremendously. We're going to make this into something really, really awesome. So, go ahead and X out of that. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to Joom Shaper and let's get our Helix template. If you've already tried to work with the Helix template or if you know anything about the Helix template, it's pretty awesome. Um, it, like I said, it has a lot of short code. You can do a lot of stuff that's already built in to this template. And it's free. So I, for me, I think it's one of the best free templates out there. So we're going to click on download. And you're going to want to download the template only, uh, Joomla 2.5 and 3. So download that. And then you're also going to want to download the Joomla 2.5 and 3 plugin, system plugin. So you'll need to download both of those. I've already got it downloaded on mine, um, so I'm not going to do it again. But you know, just download it to uh, somewhere where you can retrieve it, or, you know, kind of quickly, where you know where it's at. And uh, once you've done that, we're going to go back to our site. And we're going to click on extensions. Go ahead and go to extension manager. Click on extensions and then extension manager. And we are going to upload and install a Joomla extension. So choose file and locate the, the two files that you uh, just downloaded. And the first one you're going to um, the first one that you're going to upload is the, uh, the, he the the template. So go ahead and double click on that and go upload and install. And then just scroll down once it's installed and choose file again. And now we're going to download the system plugin. Double click, upload and install. So every time you install something, you're going to get a little message over here. If it's in the green, you're doing good. If it's orange or red, something went wrong. So the plugin was successfully installed. So now we're going to go to extensions, plugin manager, and in the search box, just type in Helix and we're going to enable the system plugin. So just click on the red box the red X, excuse me, and now it is um, enabled. Now we're going to go back to our template manager and as you see we have our Helix 2 template. So now what we need to do is we need to make this um, activated basically, make it our default template. So just click on the little star where it says uh, it'll say set default and now that has been activated so if we come up here and we click on our uh, site so we can look at it you'll see that you have a basic helix framework template very basic but um, like I said we're going to make a lot of changes to this and I'm going to show you some pretty cool tricks and some really neat stuff 
uh, that you can do with this template go ahead and click on the template right here and we're gonna go inside the back end of the template and I just want to show you a few things um, you click on these tabs <clears throat> you can make a lot of changes to the template right from here you know um, it's got three presets as far as coloring goes but you can change all the colors individually yourself to whatever you would like the layout you can change the layout around you can make it however you want uh, you can add columns you can delete columns you can move columns around you, you the layout for this template really is you can make it however you want the menu it has it actually has a uh, mega menu already built in you can do a lot a lot with this template a whole heck of a lot actually so let's go ahead and close out of here and one more thing before I end this tutorial I wanted to show you the uh, module map it's right here and like I said I will put a link up I suggest that you either um, email this to yourself or print it out so you have it as a reference uh, you can always go into the back end and look at it but it's kind of handy to have it you know in front of you as you're working so you know where the different positions are and where you're gonna put stuff so that's it for this tutorial I uh, just wanted to basically get you up and going stay tuned for the tutorials to follow I'm gonna show you guys how to add an image slider how to use tabs how to use the accordion I'm gonna show you how to do all the short code add videos into your website if you want and we're gonna be able to do all of this without downloading one module so pretty cool definitely a series of tutorials that you're gonna to want to follow if you're interested in this particular Joomla template if this tutorial helped you out in any way please give it a quick thumbs up it definitely helps me to continue to make tutorials for you that's it for today guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next tutorial